da 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 Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Pyrrhic Papaya Gaming Channel for episode numero dos of uh, our little SimCity 3000 Let's Play. So, uh, since the last time, I've made a few more residential zones. We've really developed down here. And, uh, yeah, we got got this whole area down here, a nice little cul-de-sac. The industrial zones have really blossomed. And uh, we even got this, look at this, this is all like middle class. You know, we got, uh, I'm going to call this uh, Lakeside Drive, this one right here. You ever been to one of those one of those towns where they have like they have kind of that private drive right by the lake and you know you're technically not supposed to drive through it you know if uh, you don't live on it or whatever kind of exclusive yeah that's what we got going on over there I'm gonna add some more trees so also since last time uh, if you'll notice we have a uh, I'll zoom in really get a grandiose picture we have a garbage epidemic uh, yeah it's everywhere this is uh, this is not looking good. So we're gonna off on this uh, little side back road by the lake. Of course, the most polluted lake on planet Earth. No, I'm just kidding. You should see some of the some of the lakes in the uh, former Soviet Union. Oh boy, really in the U.S. too. Um, we'll build another little. Tr I don't know why I like throwing down trees so much. I find it rather therapeutic. And, uh, yeah, ooh, we got it going. That land fills 2%, and the trash is slowly going. Also, our funds are pretty good. We, we, are, we aren't losing too much money. I think we are losing a bit. Yeah, about a... What is that, about, uh, like, 70-some a year? 70-some simoleons. Obviously, we spend a lot, so we're losing thousands of them. But uh, you know, once we really get the the population starting to go, uh, that's not going to be really an issue anymore. What is going to be an issue is all these stupid power lines. And uh, let's see here. Now, where do I want this to go? I'm thinking I, I connect it up there, and we'll keep. Ooh, oh. No, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted for Christmas, Santa Claus. All right. And, uh, yeah, actually, we'll hook that up there. Oh, doesn't that look just absolutely lovely? Right down by the lake. In fact, for the sake of more uh, lakeside uh, real estate, we're going to throw kind of level that out and bring that over and gorgeous gorgeous now do I want to build huh I don't know what I want to do in there I don't know what I want to put there either I feel like I should put a park or I think I'll put a commercial zone yeah I always find commercial zones a nice buffer between industrial and residential What's this? You take care of city's trash. I pay you cold hard cash. Accept deal. Let's do it. Our town's already trashed. Why not trash it a bit more? We'll throw an extra 500 bucks worth of landfill. Now it's kind of not square anymore. That's all right. You gotta live a little. But yeah, we're still gonna work towards our uh, lovely, lovely goal of trying to get um, those uh, research centers going on here. And uh, speaking of which, let's take a look at our hospitals. Doing pretty well. I hope these uh, query buttons aren't uh, twerking out too much, tweaking out too much. <laughs> um, just because I know, like, recording this isn't great on my computer right now. Same with this area down here is probably, like, really tweaking out a lot. Um, so, yeah, I apologize for that. I'm going to try to get it better set up, but I've been trying for hours and hours, and it's still not, it's not working. Uh, let's see, school. School's doing pretty good. We're getting closer. Hospital and fire and uh, police cover. Ooh, cancel. No, I don't want that. <laughs> no, thank you, sir. And, well, actually. 
actually most of the city has pretty decent crime coverage, along with fire coverage. Not until we've expanded, like, substantially more am I going to be that concerned. We're just going to expand that road out that way. We're going to expand this road down that way. And how are we going to set this up? You know what? I might do just, like, rows of this. It's kind of generic, but in actual city planning, not a bad idea. Why? Have you ever been to Boston? <laughs> Likewise, have you ever been to Manhattan? <laughs> uh, and admittedly, Manhattan, it's all squares. It's all just squares and squares of roads above uh, really lower Manhattan. But, but it's still absolutely just crap to drive through because... Yeah, you know, you j jam 8 million people in a place, and it uh, kind of, uh, yeah, kind of gets a bit hectic. All right, so we got ourselves a haunted house and the mayor's house. Like, where are we going to put these? Oh, yo, I got an idea. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, I'm so glad you are, too. We're going to put the mayor's house up here, overlooking all this, the people. Well, if that isn't a statement... I don't know what is. All right. We're going to call this Mayor's House Drive. And we're going to make this look like really great later on for now. We're just going to line this part. And then we're going to... I might put some houses. I'm thinking of making like a residential area up on one of these hills, probably this hill right here, just kind of like s squirreling around and stuff, and uh, you know, I'll throw some trees on here, look at that, right, and we have an extreme need for industrial, but you know, that can be done, and we'll throw in our first medium industrial zones, right in there and I shouldn't have put that there that's kind of my I, I don't always like those train house looks sometimes I do but sometimes I don't so I kind of like to just loop them around alright and I'm gonna build some more medium industrial over here booyah kasha and Got to get this all hooked up with power. Again, regretting a lot of decisions with uh, how I set up those roads. All right. And the power lines piece of crap. <laughs> I'm not a happy man with these. Nah, I'm just kidding. I totally am. All right. Let's see how this looks. And I'm probably going to start, maybe before the next episode, I'm going to start upgrading a lot of this into medium industrial instead. And there we go. It's leveling out. Excellent. Ooh, plenty of school scholarships on the way. However, I know whenever they send out these, or the hospital ones, it's usually getting pretty crowded. Yup. Sweet. We still got a lot of hospital space. But we'll throw down a, a new school. And yo, my mayor's mansion has been without power. What am I doing? I'm the mayor. I'm the mayor, man. All right, let's see here. All right. And we got to figure out where we want to put this haunted house, too. Maybe off in these creepy backwoods over here. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? Let's do that. We'll call this creepy haunted house fun ride over here. Actually, I'll think of some spooky name for the drive. Oh, I've never had a haunted house in SimCity 2000 look this good. Oh my god. Like, look at that. We'll call this, uh, Bates Boulevard. Bates Boulevard. Oof. Thinking of them right off the top of my skull. Oh, it's fantastic, yo. And we got power in the mayor mansion. What was I going to actually do, though? Mmm, new school. So we're going to call this the, uh, yeah, Charles Lindbergh Elementary School. Why Charles Lindbergh? I don't know. He's a cool guy. I like planes. 
super cool. I like to fly. A lot of people don't like to fly. But nah, I I love to travel, love to fly. I like taking trains. I used to take trains a lot. I don't so much anymore because they, they have gotten like really expensive. Um, even like some of the, n the northeast ones, like, you know, you, you got the high speed ones out in, in like between, I, th I know between New York and Philly, and I think maybe between New York and Boston, there, there might be a high speed one now. But like, because they're high speed now, they got so expensive because they're like, oh, uh, you can get there faster, so we're gonna charge you like an arm and a leg. But yeah, no, like when I was in Europe though, I like the trains. Oh, I'd love taking like the uh, those little Trenitalia trains. I mean, sometimes they're a hassle, but most of the time it's like you walk up there, you go up to like the ticket machine, you throw in a couple euros. <laughs> I say a couple, maybe like five euros. You get like you know, you ticket down to uh, Rome or whatever for the day. Might not actually be that cheap, but that was a good time. I miss Italy. It's a nice country. Yo, if there's any Italians watching it, uh, you know, I gotta just shout out, shout out to, to that beautiful country and its beautiful people. All right, so we've really got this going. We've got another s ourselves another residential boom. I think I'm gonna play through this another time and then we'll meet you up for episode three once I've get gotten a bit more uh, industrial. Maybe I'll get these train tracks out a bit more. Let's take a look at that haunted house. One more time. Oh, at that mayor's mansion. Oh, it's great. All right. You know, as I always say, and by always, th I mean this is literally this only the second time, but you know, please like, uh, comment, Actually, what, what's today's comment going to be? I always like to throw these down. Uh, yo, have you ever traveled to some other place? You know, another foreign country, another part of uh, the United States, or your country, I should say, wherever you're from. I shouldn't assume. Um, and yeah, but yeah, like, comment, and uh, please, please, subscribe. Uh, per favore. <laughs> you know, subscribe. <laughs> okay, I'll find out how to say subscribe in Italian for the next for the next one. All right, peace out, peeps. It's been real.